The EGR cooler is another component in the EGR system to reduce NOx gases. Its job is to pull as much heat out of the exhaust before it's reintroduced into the combustion chamber. But over time, this part can fail and the results can damage a number of different EGR components, including the VGT turbo. Most failures happen inside the EGR cooler, so it's easy to miss until the symptoms start to show up elsewhere. Here are the key indicators to look for when diagnosing an EGR cooler. Loss of coolant, steam coming out of the tailpipe, engine overheating, sticking VGT turbo. Why am I finding coolant in places other than the EGR cooler? It's obvious you have a leak inside the component. The tubes inside the EGR cooler carrying coolant can break due to extreme temperature vibration and cycling of temperatures. Thermal expansion and contraction cause the materials inside to fatigue and fracture. The coolant can then travel into the exhaust system and result in steam out your tailpipe, mix with soot or carbon gumming up the EGR valve, or contaminating components inside the VGT turbocharger causing the veins to stick. If the coolant leak is not visible and you notice any of the symptoms mentioned above, it's best to start by removing the plumbing around the EGR cooler to find traces of where it went internally. Again, look around the VGT turbocharger for trace amounts of coolant. If you're looking to replace your EGR cooler, check out the selection at Highway and Heavy Parts. Have your engine serial number ready for faster ordering. Be sure to like the video and smash the subscribe button to stay up to date with HHP on YouTube. If you have any questions about today's video, submit a comment below or chat with us on highwayandheavyparts.com. Or you can talk to me or any of the other service techs from Highway and Heavy Parts at 844-447-1453. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.